and let me create another grid or what i can do is i can create this copy this grid to i don't know here and let's create another let me copy this point that is my attractive point so i can do them do that both so let me copy them somewhere here yeah so we'll be using pretty similar thing so grid location this time is going to be this guy and my maybe it's even a tractor point maybe group i can copy it and paste put it over here and put my tractor point in and what i'm going to what i do usually do what i do usually as you know is pull out the distance in between and this area of the cell obviously the midpoint of this cell and my attractor point and based on this what i'm doing is you as you know is provide some information here right on top of each and every uh cell in this one what we did is we visualized the colors based on the distance and we create this legend right next to it but this time what we can do is plot that information like as a text on top of these cells and to do so what I'm going to do is I'll be putting a this time tag 3d and the location is going to be always xy plane on this cell organization or on this grid maybe I can go top view okay. and preview this off maybe and you see planes are on top of every single uh, so this is the location and this time in order to create the text what I can say is concatenate and concatenate this time when I can type distance to and then I can go underneath the distance to attractor point and create this here this is my first text the second is obviously what i'm doing is rounding this information because uh, it will save up some space for me and i can put this in and the next thing is i'll be putting a millimeter unit by creating this slot in so if i put this guy in here as text it's obviously taking some time to calculate this but we started to see text information here but it's pretty pretty small and if i justify this by middle center you see my text is going to sit on top of the on top of my plane in the middle so preview this off and if you put this size let's say 50 you can see Maybe we can see visually a bit better information, but 50 is too much, so 30 maybe, too much, 20 maybe, and 15, you see, and what we can say is the color, we can put a swatch, and we can say white. And what I'm going to check here is what would happen if I, why don't we do something like this? Let me pull out this point here because we are spending, like we are losing some space and time here uh, because there are too many cells inside of this organization. So why don't we go with like 10 by 10? Things will be faster. And why don't we have like, I don't know, 500? for every single cell now what i'm seeing is maybe i can view this a bit better you see and maybe top center might oops sometimes it's weird though based on the plane so what we can say bottom center is the right one for this so what i'm doing is if i change this you see my text is being changed each and every time so imagine if you're trying to come up with a solution to for the view or for the distance in between plots 
uh, I think this can be really helpful and what I can do is I can group them and plot area, plot heights and this time we can say plot distances and that is pretty much it uh, for this video and actually and this one is the last one this video is the last one for this playlist i hope you enjoyed it please make sure you check description below for the exercise files and i'll see you in the next playlist